Honestly, everywhere is tense. Where can we say it's safe in this country? Every day by day, every day, unlike before, maybe every other day or maybe three days apart. But now what we experience concerning insecurity in this country is not even every day, per second, per second, per second, per minute, things are just happening. At times we just be tired. Oh, you know, people don't even have a, you know, show remorse again. Okay, oh, it's happened. Okay, let's move on. But um, the unfortunate thing there is that those who are affected, they will have a better story to tell. And this is not a palatable story that we have been hearing all the time. If it has not happened to somebody close to to one or maybe happened to somebody, you will not know the gravity of what is happening. And majority of the people, especially the leaders, they are playing lip service to all of these things happening because if they are really serious about what is happening, believe you me, something drastic must have been done. And everybody will see it. But it's like they are just playing lip service. They will say this one, this one will say his own. But who is coordinating everybody together? That is where we have problem. Delhi terrorist Boko Haram has given a seven-day final proposal for the public authority to sat- satisfy its needs or keep a minister, Bulus Yakuru, whom they snatched in December 2020. The picture was said to have been kidnapped when the extremists assaulted Bemi town near Chibok just before Christmas in 2020. He has since been in their authority, notwithstanding prior offers from him through recordings delivered by the gathering in December 2020 and again in January 2021 for the Public Authority and the Christian Association of Nigeria to ask the hero. His snatching has now gone in a different direction with the final proposal uh, given by the Boko Haram psychological militants in another video as contained in a report observed by Niger News on Home Angle. As per the report, the minister showed up in the new video with a Boko Haram trooper holding a blade to his head and he asked President Muhammad Buhari, the Bono State Governor, Professor Baba Ganazulu, its local government chairman and the Christian Association of Nigeria can to directly act the hero before he is slaughtered. It is perceived that the cut-off time given by the psychological militant will terminate on Wednesday, 3rd March 2021. The troubled Yakubu in the video said, I'm approaching President Muhammad Buhari and the governor of Bono State to help me since I have been allowed a one-week final proposal today, February 24th. On the off chance that you need me alive, I beseech you in your ability as president, the lead representative and a nearby government director to save me from this mystery. I am approaching the EYN Church of the Brethren Presidents to intercede and get my delivery. Kindly appeal to God for me. Today is the last day I will have the chance to approach you in your ability as my folks and family members in the country. An individual, any individual who has the goal should help and save me. If it is not too much trouble, discharge me from this agony, the minister asked. Then the snatch driver of Adamawa United Football Club, Kabiru Mohammed, on Wednesday night was delivered by his abductors in the wake of going through five days in the Rufian's sanctum revealed that Muhammad was kidnapped along Beni or Lagos Street when the transports in which he was driving the players and authorities of the football club was assaulted by shooters. Adamawa United Football Club had a match to play with MFM Football Club in Lagos on 7 days 11 NPFL installation before the occurrence. The permanent secretary of the Adamawa State Ministry of Youth and Sports, Aliyu Ababa Kajada, who affirmed the delivery, said the driver was in the sound brain when he talked with him on the phone. Hmm. Boko Haram took steps to execute a bono pastor, gives federal government maximum minimum of seven days to pay ransom. So it has even gone beyond the working for Allah or working for uh, their religion or working for Muhammad. So it is not all about money, 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 money. You see what uh, this whole thing has turned to. God will not forsake you in Jesus' name. A lot of people are responding to the minister's uh, appeal.
God Almighty will deliver him in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, bring this man back alive. Uh, Gumi said that they are not criminals. Anybody that terminates innocent lives are criminals. What was the offense of the man of God? You see, cutting guns, Almighty God shall judge. God will surely intervene. Where is Gumi, the negotiator? God Almighty will save you. God, save your servant, please. Where is Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Gumi? He should plead on his behalf for God's sake. They won't help. They won't help you. Help you. you are a Christian. So so what? Gumi governor did not support Christian Emir. So what? God will deliver you. These are the real animals in the zoo doing the work of their father, the devil. That is why they and all their supporters shall remain in perpetual darkness and miserable till the end of time since they have rejected Prince of Peace and the light of the world. I pray for God for God Almighty for uh, his deliverance. When Boko Haram is caught, they, 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 they radicalize them. When Boko Haram gets a civilian, they kill them. Nothing will be paid. Let noisemaker like like Uka and Fanika they surrender their lives for him. Okay? God will help you. Help will come your way in Jesus' name. How can someone say that we serve the same God? The Bible and in first John four verse eight it says he that loveth not knoweth God. God is love. Well I'm uh, the aims uh, I'm aims but I know God Almighty we we never sleep. The God of hosts we arise on your behalf. I fear you kill him, he will make heaven provided his hands are clean. Mm. Those Boko Haram for them to for them to do the right thing or killing themselves, God will protect you as you are in their custody. If you kill him today, you will see him you will see will you see him come tomorrow? My question is no. Who killed by sword shall also die by sword. But if it is a Muslim, since they would they would have paid the money to you since I blame the Christians. God Almighty will see you through. God help you. God help you. It is a really it's a sorry state. It's so 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 pathetic. Really pathetic. Honestly, may God grant his servant freedom from his minded for evil minded people that capture him. Mm. The God that delivers Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will surely see you through. Confusion shall be their portion. They will not know when they will leave you to go. My prayer to you, Pastor, may God do His will. May you not reject your faith as a, like Elia Sharibu. Just commit your soul to God. Believe that in time of danger, there is nothing God cannot do to the matter so to uh, cannot do no matter the situation those terrorists that capture will be bestowed with confession before the deadline amen a big amen imagine self acclaim the islam sheikh that in kidnap crime also asking for ransom where then is the Allah they are fighting for yes they are fighting for Allah and they are still requesting for money